Hello guys. Today, we're diving into one of the core pillars behind NEO's long-term strategy, a piece of technology that not only separates NEO from every other EV manufacturer on the planet, but is now drawing increasing support from governments, partners, and major infrastructure players across China. I'm talking about NEO's battery swapping ecosystem. Many have heard about it, many talk about it, but very few understand how enormous this advantage has now become, especially with the latest government-backed partnership that has just been signed. By the end of this video, you'll understand why this single capability may play a much bigger role in NEO's future than most people realize. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Across the global EV landscape, one thing stands out clearly, battery swapping is still extremely rare while fast charging has become the default strategy for almost every EV brand worldwide. The concept of pulling into a station and exchanging your depleted battery for a fully charged one within minutes is something only a handful of companies have dared to develop. Globally, NEO is essentially alone when it comes to deploying batteries swapping at scale. Yes, Cattle, the world's largest battery manufacturer, has also entered the space and there is a European startup preparing to roll out swapping technology across selected regions with support from Fiat's EV program. But when we narrow the conversation to vehicle manufacturers, companies that both build cars and build the swapping network themselves, NEO remains the only one doing it on a national level, with thousands of stations already operating every single day. What makes this even more impressive is the speed at which NEO's system operates, while the European company has proudly announced that their swapping stations will eventually complete a battery exchange in about five minutes, NEO has already surpassed that milestone. Their newest generation swap stations can perform a full automated battery swap in under three minutes. No hype, no prototypes these stations are already deployed and serving thousands of users daily. This difference might seem small at first glance, but in the world of charging convenience, minutes matter, and NEO's lead represents the level of engineering, software algorithms, robotics, and energy management that the company has spent years perfecting. But the real breakthrough here isn't just the technology itself, it's how NEO is scaling it. In the early days, NEO was funding nearly everything alone, the research, the design, and the national rollout of the swapping network. But that has changed dramatically. Today, NEO has eight to nine major partners across China energy companies, state-owned enterprises, municipal governments, and infrastructure groups who are jointly building these stations with NEO. This co-building model means NEO no longer carries the full financial burden. Instead, costs are shared, benefits are shared, and the network expands much faster than what NEO could achieve independently. Just recently, I covered how one of NEO's partners publicly celebrated reaching five co-built stations with NEO. That was already impressive, but the new development takes things to a much higher level. The latest announcement reveals that NEO Power has signed a new agreement with a state-owned enterprise in Wuhan to accelerate the construction of additional battery swap stations across the region. If you followed NEO for a while, you'll know that Wuhan has played an enormous role in NEO's journey. Wuhan's government and local investment bodies have repeatedly supported NEO's expansion, especially in charging and swapping infrastructure. In fact, last year Wuhan's government linked investors injected around $210 million into NEO specifically for expanding its battery swapping and charging network. That was a massive vote of confidence, not just in NEO as a carmaker, but in battery swapping as a national strategic asset. The new partnership simply confirms that this collaboration is far from finished, if anything, it's accelerating. Why is the government so interested? The answer goes beyond EV convenience. Battery swap stations are not just places where cars exchange battery packs. These stations collectively store enormous amounts of energy. That stored power can become extremely valuable in times of grid instability or emergencies. China witnessed this firsthand last year. During extreme heat waves, certain regions experienced electricity shortages and local grid failures. 
Yet, in some of those areas, NEO's battery swap stations were able to discharge power back into the grid, temporarily supporting local electricity needs when the main power system couldn't keep up. This capability is huge for a country the size of China, where energy stability is a constant challenge. The government recognizes that NEO stations act like distributed energy storage units and that makes them strategically important. This is exactly why initiatives like the new Wuhan partnership continue happening. The government clearly understands the value of this technology, both for EV adoption and for supporting broader energy infrastructure. And if the government sees long-term value, you can bet they'll continue funding, supporting, and encouraging expansion. In addition to partnerships, Wuhan's relationship with NEO has gone even further. NEO has already established a battery swap station assembly facility in Wuhan, a massive 20k square meter plant dedicated to producing swap stations. By 2025, this factory is expected to hit an annual production capacity of up to 1,500 stations per year, representing more than $2 billion in yearly output. That level of production is unheard of anywhere else in the world. It means China is not only adopting batteries swapping its mass manufacturing the entire ecosystem around it. Thanks to these developments, NEO today already operates more than 3,600 battery swap stations across China, including over 1,000 located on major highways. This level of coverage means NEO owners can drive across the country with near-zero charging anxiety. And with more partnerships being signed like the new Wuhan deal the network will only expand faster. All of this leads to a bigger conclusion. It's becoming clear that China views NEO as a crucial player in national EV strategy. Battery swapping is not simply a commercial product anymore. It's part of the energy grid, part of emergency response planning, part of transportation infrastructure, and part of China's long-term sustainability goals. With that in mind, it's hard to imagine a scenario where the Chinese government ever allows NEO to fail. NEO is being positioned almost like a national technology champion, a company whose innovations benefit not only consumers, but the entire country. Seeing all of these pieces fall into place the partnerships, the government support, the scaling of swap station production and the real-world proof of how useful this network can be it becomes even easier to be optimistic about NEO's future. Not because of hype, but because the foundation behind NEO's long-term strategy is becoming stronger every single year. In today's video, we explored why NEO's battery swapping network is becoming one of the most powerful tools in the global EV landscape. We talked about how NEO remains the only automaker deploying swapping at scale, how their technology outperforms upcoming competitors, and how their co-building model allows them to expand rapidly with help from partners. Most importantly, we discussed the new government-backed agreement in Wuhan and why China continues to invest hundreds of millions into NEO's infrastructure. These developments show that NEO's swapping ecosystem is becoming more than a convenience feature, it's becoming national infrastructure. And that's exactly why NEO's long-term future looks stronger than ever. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.